Hey everyone, my name is Adam. This is my 1987 Grand Marquis LS sedan. Uh, that's currently uh, up for sale on Craigslist and it might possibly eBay. I haven't decided yet. Uh, it is a tan coffee color, uh, 1987 model, uh, LS, fully loaded, all the options for the 1987 model year. It's the closest thing to a Lincoln without buying an actual Lincoln. Um, the car is two owner. Uh, the original owner bought it in 1989, or sorry, not 1989, 1987. Uh, and unfortunately the gentleman had complications, he was an older, older gentleman, and passed away um, about 1989. Um, and then it was put in a garage ever since. And we ended up, my family ended up getting the car back in 2008. Um, and it's been in our possession ever since. And now it's just time to, I guess, send it on to a new owner, uh, just because of different life changes. And uh, I just want to point out some other spots while I talk about the history is this, um, unfortunately this car does have rust because I do live in Illinois. And there's rust right around the front marker light right there. Uh, rust bubble on the door right here. Another rust bubble right here. And one on the back door which is the largest on the car. Uh, and then there's a small one developing here on the trunk. Um, but overall, I believe that's, that's, generally speaking, that's all the rust on this vehicle. Oh, sorry. One more right on the rear, right here. Uh, which, some of these are common, more common spots for rust to show up on a car. Oh, and the marker light on the other side as well. So, but yeah, uh, this car has 71,300 and some change miles. Uh, this is completely original, original mileage for the vehicle. Uh, like I said, the gentleman that had this didn't drive it that much, and unfortunately he uh, passed away um, when we got it. It had 20, 26,000 miles, I believe, uh, on the car, which uh, is quite remarkable, honestly. Um, it did have some problems. We did have to replace a fuel pump when we got it because the car was sitting for that long. Um, we've had to do a full transmission rebuild on the car, new linkage cable, uh, etc. It's rocking the four is walking the Ford 5.0 liter EFI fuel injected engine. Uh, it does have, it still has the old, uh, I believe it's uh, R12 uh, air conditioning system that works wonderfully. Um, as you can as you can hear, it runs great. Uh, as for your tires, uh, there is four BF Goodrich Touring TA tires, which unfortunately are almost, which unfortunately do need to be changed. Um, three of them are on the actual vehicle. And then when we took it for tire rotation, they wanted to actually throw on the original, the original spare tire on the car, which uh, is a Michelin uh, Radial X, all season, right, white wall white wall tire and let me see if I can focus in on this for you. Uh, the size is uh, P215 70R15. Um, all of the wheels have the uh, high-end option of uh, the, the spoked Mercury uh, style hubcaps. Um, this one is a little bit damaged uh, from a pothole but there, we do have a brand new uh, replacement that the original owner bought that we will be including with the vehicle. Uh, this one also has a little bit of damage from a pothole. Uh, unfortunately that's just what happens. Um, but overall the other two are in great shape. The other thing I think I should mention with this is that we ended up taking out the original proprietary screws that are behind the center caps right here that you would need a special tool for and that we ended up replacing them with just a I believe it's an 18 or 19 millimeter socket. Uh, just to make it easier. Uh, one thing I should note on the top of the vinyl is there is some type of mold that's, that, that is up here. I tried cleaning up as best I could. I didn't want to spend 
all day on it, but um, it did, most, some of it did come up even with just normal household cleaner. I know they sell specific vinyl cleaner uh, that is available. But uh, on the inside, this thing is fully loaded for the 1987 model year. And I am going to turn this off. Well, I want to, I'll turn this off and put on accessories. You don't have to hear that. Maybe I'll just close the door too, all right? All right, so uh, this thing is fully loaded. It has a digital clock, digital radio with AM, FM cassette um, that works still. Uh, automatic climate control with air conditioning. Uh, it's a full leather interior, uh, front and back, with a uh, six-person bench seat in the front. Um, this ha does have the premium audio package in it. Um, no maker name from what I can read, but just Ford's premium auto package for 1987. Um, now the two back windows do not work properly. Um, there's, we have, as you can see in the pictures, we have little taped, little taped uh, buttons if my camera wants to focus here. Um, and one of them does work. We've just had problems with the backs, uh, back windows, even when we first got the car. Uh, but the front windows, the most important windows, actually do work. Power mirrors still do work. Um, window locks work. Uh, power locks, all of them work except the driver's side. Um, it happened, I don't know, a couple years ago, but uh, it's, it's very difficult to lock the driver's side. It does not want to lock with the auto locks, and we just have not uh, taken up with that issue. Uh, if you are a smoker, uh, this car is for you. There is a nice... Uh, big ashtray in front, as well as your back passengers each enjoy a cigarette lighter and a ashtray uh, in the back of the car. Uh, documentation with this car uh, is pretty extensive. Uh, let me, let's go back to the trunk where we have it. It is pretty extensive. Uh, literally, uh, my family has everything my family has for uh, all the work that we've done as well as what the original owner has had. Uh, here's the, one of the original driver's side mats that we just had taken out because of the, uh, the all-purpose winter rubber mat. We have another jack, including the jack, which does work because I've had, uh, had to replace a flat tire in this car before. Um, here is all the paperwork that we have. Uh, this goes everything from oil changes to the transmission rebuild that happened a couple years, two years ago, I believe. Uh, and all the other work that we've put in. We have an extra license plate frame. There's one on the car right now. Um, that's just an extra. Original manuals. Uh, original guy, as you can see. He bought the uh, coverage, the extra warranty, and he actually passed away before, uh, let's see if, yeah, right here. Uh, the, the plan expired in 1992, and unfortunately the gentleman died in 1989. Um, so, uh, the warranty on the car actually outlived him, um, unfortunately, but, uh, overall, do we have extra copies of the manual, more, more extra news and documentation with this car, like I said, it's been very well taken care of, there's some extra, uh, extra odds and ends from the car in there, but all that obviously is included along with that extra brand new old stock hubcap that I talked about, which I do not have in the car right now. And then these are just some various tools. This stuff goes with the jack, and then you got your tire iron, window squeegee, uh, and yeah, the cover on the back tire is one of the other BF Goodrich uh, Touring TAs that are on the car. Um, I would say this one maybe has about 20, 25% left on it. The best tire on this car is the original Michelin, uh, which surprisingly isn't dry rotted, um, but has probably about 30, 35% maybe left on it. Um, overall, even though I do live in Illinois, this car is pretty, it has its rust, but by no means, by no means is it actually as bad as some other, as most other of these cars, these Grand Marquis town cars and Grand Victorias that you see on the road. All right, I just want to close it up real fast by just saying that this car, uh, for its age, is in excellent uh, condition. 
aside from these small bits of rust. Um, with the mileage and all the options, the LS being the highest options uh, that you can have on a Grandmark key, like I said, just short of you going into a, uh, not even a base model Lincoln Town car, because those had cloth seats. Um, but this is pretty much on par with a, I would say a mid-tier Lincoln. Um, like I said, not, not, not as fancy as the top model Lincoln Town car, but uh, is the closest thing to a Lincoln, and it is in wonderful shape. This, this car is, had, does have its original paint with the pinstripe. We nicknamed it Coffee and Cream because it does have that two-tone two -tone be uh, beige with pinstriping along the car. Um, we are, I am really sorry to see this go. Uh, this was, I really enjoyed driving this car. It is a highway car. It loves getting up over the speeds, even though the speedometer, uh, <laughs> as you can see, is an 80s era car and only goes up to 85 miles an hour as its max, even though, um, <clears throat> I've had it up faster than that. Um, but I just wanted to give you a mileage count. Uh, it is 71,841. So sorry, I need to correct myself in the beginning of the, vid of the video. Um, we do have, I forgot to mention, we do have mirrors with lights. Uh, you know, all expenses were not spared in this model year of car. However, what it is interesting to note on this car is that the actual door, the, the I, I don't know if you call this the boot plate, door plate, actually is Ford markings, just like the Crown Victoria. I know in the Lincolns it is changed to a Lincoln, but uh, Mercury being the middle of the road brand uh, for your enthusiast, for, for your luxury car and sedan buyer, uh, does kind of have a mixed match of parts. However, that is good because you can take parts from Crown Vic, um, as well as I believe some parts from a Lincoln Town Car will work on this model of car. Uh, I just wanted to take one last bit of a note on the door tag. This car is a foreign built American car made in by the Ford Motor Company in Canada uh, in, can't even read that, in April of 1987. Um, so yeah, no, um, it is, it has survived well for its age. Um, like I said, I will be having this car up online, and I hope who is ever interested will take care of the car as, as well as we have for the years that my family has owned it and has taken care of it. All right, everyone, thank you for watching.